What's up guys, my name is Phil. Welcome back to Miranda Detailing. So in today's video, we are detailing this little Mazda and it is a mess. Uh, it's a 2018 and we're doing a full interior and exterior. So what you just saw was the whole exterior process, the rinsing, APC rinsing, the contact wash. Uh, we use the clay mitt and the clay bar to attack some artillery fungus that's on the paint. Um, you can't really see it because it's a, a black paint, but you could feel those little artillery bits. So those were all clayed off. So now we're just in the process of drying. So we're gonna towel dry, blow dry, and start on uh, the interior. Not sure what I'm gonna use for protection. The paint is really beat up. It's really swirled. I'll show you after we're done drying what the paint looks like. It's really bad, but we're not doing any type of polishing on it. So we may opt for a machine applied protection. We'll see, just to maybe get rid of some of the marring that was left behind, but that's yet to be determined. So we'll see what we can use to help that. If you guys are interested in the videos, and I hope you are and I hope you're enjoying them. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you don't miss stuff. And if you're interested in any of the products or the tools that we're using, check out the links in the description. Master? Yep. Master. Master. It's 2018 and it is beat mm -hmm. up. It's beat up? Oh, Look at the goodness. interior. It's disgusting. The paint's in bad shape. The interior is really? disgusting. Like they didn't do anything oh, to it for the, uh, years. Not the nine. It's the, uh, the I think it's a five. Yeah, it's five. a five. Shining. The paint is washed and deconned, but look at how bad it is. It's, it's got a lot of straight line scratches, most likely from car washes. It's kind of hard to see in here with the sunlight because it's being kind of blocked by the trees. So you can really see those straight line scratches there. They're really bad. The whole hood looks like that. See? So are we gonna polish those out? No, because this is not a paint enhancement or correction or anything. Uh, this is a full interior and exterior detail. This is mainly for cleaning and for protection. So if they opted to do anything more, then we would go further, but we're not. This is a daily driver. It is a mall mobile. Are we going to go any further with it? No, not really. I am, however, going to just use a light polish like this, a finishing polish. Basically just to take out the marring that was installed from the clay barring and clay mitting. So I'm going to remove my own, uh, you know, damage from the decontamination stage because the paint is pretty soft. And then we're going to protect it with the Epic CR2. So I have my cordless, just a black polishing pad. This is going to add gloss and remove that minor marring. That's all we're shooting for. Like night and day. Wow, okay. That's actually wow. really nice. A little sunshine. Sun, sunshine. Sunshine. So that made a big difference. I applied it just like I would um, applying a wax or a sealant. Just kind of quickly go over the paint just to cover every square inch and it wipes off very easily. So finishing polish is really, really nice to use kind of like as a So the finishing polish is great to use like a quick glossing enhancer. We're not really working it into the paint like a true paint enhancement, just buzzing over quickly and it's going to remove any of that light marring just like we would using any other type of wax or sealant. So it's great. Uh, this is also chemically cleaning the paint and it's making it slick and it's adding gloss. So now the CR2 application should be much easier. The 
Thank you. You too, man. That's nice. Not that I can see. No smearing. It looks it looks really nice and super slick. Oh, you see the glossiness from here. That application is so smooth and easy. Really awesome. So a great combo for chemically cleaning the paint and adding protection. It's an SiO2 sealant. So, and depending on how the customer takes care of it, weather, all of that, it could last six months, it could be three to four months, it all depends. But now that it's lightly polished, each time you maintain it, dry it, add another application, it's that easy. Look how nice and glossy that looks. And yeah, you still have those straight line scratches. See how bad they are? Those need to really be compounded out. But anyway, the gloss is there. The paint is super smooth and clean and glossy and protected. So this is a nice combo. This is just an option. Um, if you want to do a light polishing or a paint cleansing, that's really what it's doing is cleansing the paint. And then add protection, the CR2. Nice stuff, very easy application. It's wipe on, wipe off, and it's nice and smooth. Really nice. A hand model. <laughs> hand model. All right, so now that the exterior is done, all the trim was done, was everything is looking good. You saw a mosquito. Me. Now we're gonna tackle the interior. So we'll show you at least some of the highlights of the interior. This is gonna take us a while, so We'll show you the whole dash up here. The, the low, you want me to show the low lights of it, not the highlights? And we'll show you the cleaning of the carpet up here and maybe some areas in the back here, but we need to get this done because the next one in line is that QX80. That one is much cleaner. The inside is really nice. So in another video, we'll show you guys what we're gonna use on the exterior to wash it and protect it.
The Mazda is done. Oops, look, we gotta do the tires. We'll do that in a moment. Paint is looking beautiful. Super glossy, slick, looking awesome. Wheels cleaned up great. We actually used the Turtle Wax wheel and tire cleaner, and uh, you can see it pulling off the dirt off the tires. It did a really good job of cleaning, and the interior came out incredibly well. We were not sure how it was gonna clean up. You never know, sometimes the Mazda fabric is really, really tough to clean. But it cleaned up exceptionally well. So all the interior is cleaned, dressed, looking amazing. Yeah, that screen is just like that. It's damaged, unfortunately. All the plastics looking nice. The leather looks incredible. And even the back area, the back area wasn't as bad as some that we have seen. It cleaned up really well. The dog hair was removed with relative ease and then we just steamed all of back here. And basically the cleaner I was using for this entire job was Kosh Kemi Polestar. So it's their pH neutral uh, APC cleaner. Really, really nice stuff. You can use it on leather, fabric, carpet, everything. And we did use the Try To Clean, the G-Technic um, cleaner for all of the mats. Now you can also use that as an all surface cleaner as well because it does have the antibacterial and virus killing components in it. Excellent, this thing looks beautiful. So we're going to park it over there and bring in the infinity, but that will be for another video. This stuff, I2 Tri Clean, that's what it's called, I2 Tri Clean. So this does have the bio coat technology. Now using it in carpets and extracting it kind of de defeats the purpose because you can actually leave this on the surface and it will continue to kill bacteria, which is cool. Um, but it is also a good cleaner. So you'll see us use this on other surfaces in vehicles. So that's gonna do it for today's video. The Mazda is done. And like I mentioned, we're gonna go on to the Infinity. That will be for another video. And we're gonna do more of the exterior on the Infinity because not too much to show on the interior. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you don't miss stuff. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great week. Take care.